It's halfway through, Sal, and Leicester looking very nice at the moment. And we'll also take a little bit of fantasy football, won't we? <laughs> I mean, we thought it couldn't happen in 2016. Could it possibly happen again? As Dan said, Leicester City are top of the Premier League this morning, five years after they won the league title. At odds, West Ham are only six points off the top after winning in last night's other Premier League match. They beat West Brom. Southampton finally secured their passage into this weekend's fourth round of the FA Cup. A COVID some news from the United States overnight. Tiger Woods' season is on hold. He has had back surgery for the fifth time in his career. Next month, it's the Super Bowl in the United States. And for the first time, it will feature a female referee, Sarah. And I started, didn't I, with news of a new leader at the top of the Premier League. But the goal of the night came from a goalkeeper in League Two. Did he? Did he? he did, yeah, because he keeper just said... Keeper to keeper. Yeah, it was one of those things. It was a fluke. <laughs> Great goal, though. Yeah. Great goal. Well, we should show it a few times. I'm sure we'll see that again this morning. <laughs> I'm well, sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank they couldn't possibn't do it again, could they? Leicester isn't there this yeah. morning. Could it happen again? Maybe. Could Leicester win the Premier League this season? They're top of the league this morning, five years after they won the league. West Ham United are only six points off the top after winning in last night's other Premier League match. They beat Southampton finally secured their passage into this weekend's fourth round of the FA Cup. Meanwhile, two more Australian Open players have tested positive for the virus and another non-playing member of staff has also tested positive in the last few hours, bringing the total number of cases associated with the tournament now to 10. More well, with people living in Australia, where, of course, the rules are particularly, particularly strict. They are. Um, Sally, thank you very much. Fantastic guest lined up for us. Yeah. Yeah, great guest. Been looking forward to this all morning. Morning, everybody. Judy Murray has always been a proud promoter and advocate of women in sport, so perhaps appropriate that her new project involves talking to some of the country's most successful and prominent sportswomen, including Dame Kelly Holmes. Delighted to say we can speak to both of them now. Series Driving Force on Sky Demand. I've watched the first in which Judy actually answers the question. It's a really excellent insight into what she went through as yeah, well. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. It's quite Just who said no? <laughs> Should we be making notes? Uh, Sally, thank you very much.